the situation in the Middle East is crazy now, friends, buckle up, because in the next two months, we're probably going to be seeing some uh, very big things happening. Yes, bigger things than are what are happening right now. Uh, on July 24th, Benjamin Netanyahu, the Prime Minister of Israel, will address a joint session of the U.S. Congress, and it appears that shortly thereafter, mass mobilizations of the Israeli Defense Forces Reserve Forces will be in play. They will be preparing for the invasion of Lebanon. Uh, we got uh, we got some serious stuff to throw down here. Uh, we have opposition leaders inside the Israeli government uh, resigning in protest of this operation in which they can't speak about. What is that operation? It seems to be very clear that they have greenlit the operation to invade Lebanon. This will be a major war uh, on the scale of what we're seeing over in Ukraine. Major military divisions uh, act fighting in large-scale battles against well-entrenched and well-defended positions. we got a lot to talk about, friends. There's a lot to talk about here. Um, I need to back up what I've just said because that is, uh, that's some pretty crazy stuff. Whenever you hear somebody on YouTube... Hey, shalom, shalom, all praise, honey and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweshai, Bahashem, Rakaha, Kwadash. In the Bohana Zelda and the apostles of the Twin Son who do well, peace, blessing, and salutation to you, Akiam, who are pushing this truth to the four winds of the heaven. So, this is another lesson coming to you through the spirit and power of your Bashem Yashai, man. This is a Lebanon invasion looming, man. It is a list of the flock, man, at it again. And this will bring me into Ecclesiastic, it's here in one to everything. There is a season in a time to every purpose and the heaven, man. And we are living in a time where the list of the folk will draw everybody else into this war, man. The coming war, as the scripture say, man. The scripture are alive and well, man. And she, let me get the scripture. The scriptures are alive and well, man. Let me get Jeremiah 50, 45. It read, therefore, here is the counsel of the Lord. And that's what we are speaking over here, man. We are speaking the counsel of the Lord. That being said, let me pull a scripture first. Here. Then you will continue. This is Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord God will do nothing but he reveal his secret unto his servant, the prophet. You see, going back to... The scripture was reading Jeremiah 15 45. Was there for he has the counsel of the Lord. You see, the Lord will do nothing but to reveal his counsel to, 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 to his a servant, the prophet. And we are, the, we, are, we are his servant. The Lord will be a part of that number. That he has taken against Babylon in his purpose, that he has purposed against the hand, the hand of, the, of the Chaldean. See, surely the list of the folk shall draw them out. You see. And he will continue to speak here, going to the U.S. intelligence, he was saying this is a bad idea, man, to invade Lebanon because it will draw everybody in, man. Because you have vested inter interest of Iran, you have vested interest of China. There is something which right now it is not mainstream, what we call the Lord and, Bel the Lord and Bel in initiative in which the Chinese are building, man. Eh? So the Chinese have, also have a vested interest in Lebanon, you know, the Middle East, you see, and this other Arabian country, especially in the OPEC, eh, which have some kind of power. They don't want to see uh, this different trade route, man, getting disrupted of, because of these ongoing wars. So it's about the interest, it's about the conflict of interest, man. That's what will really bring everybody into this war, man. You see? Surely the east of the frog shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. And at the noise of them taking of Babylon, the earth is moved and the cry is heard among the nation. That being said, uh, it will bring me into another lesson, it will reach a point where this, this other nation will say, hey man, 
F America man we, we are tired of you Eshi. this is Isaiah 13 17 behold I will stir up the media against them which shall not regard and as for gold this shall not delight in it that was going to this different uh, uh, this different uh, uh, business which are going on between uh, Russia and the United States. There are still business between Russia and the United States. Russia and, and Europe in the oil and everything. And there are still business with this country which are beefing each other. It will reach a point where as a media they say, fuck that, man. And as a media, not just the media, the media and the alliance. You see? You see? And as a boy shall death the young men to pieces. That's why I started with Ecclesiastic 3, man. It is time for, oh, this is not the time for business. This is not the time for, for BRICS. This is not the time for, for the G7. Let's pull Russia into the G7 and become G8. Let's build what they are talking about, the Euro, Euro-Russia and exclude America. Of course, that will happen. But it's not like this season they are making plan for 50 years to come, man, or 200 years to come. Man. Come on, man. You see, it will reach a point in the mid, man, and the alliance, including Ishmael, man, and, and the, 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 the Persian, the Israeli, every American, man, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. You see? The, the American won't be able to, to blackmail the Russian, like they, they, they blackmail the Soviet Union about the, uh, 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 the mutual assured destruction, you're mad. And the Soviet, they, they kind of got afraid to, to strike America because of that, man. They, they got intimidated that it will be a mutual assured destruction in, in an event when a nuclear war will happen. Like now, the, 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 the Russian are prepared, man. And they are building the Soviet Union, going back to that imperial, imperialistic military, like, like power, man. The eyes shall not spare children, and, and, and above on the glory of kingdoms, the, the beauty of the Chaldean excellence shall be as when the moon shall overthrow Sodom and Gomorrah. You see? It, it will be such, man. It is not just a similitude, it will be such. And the moon shall overthrow Sodom and Gomorrah, because, because America is Sodom and Gomorrah. And it shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelled in any from generation to generation, neither shall the Arabian and pitch their tent there. Neither shall the shepherd make their food, their fold there. If there won't be business over there, man. So we see this, I say, Shalom, I hope you brothers were edified on to the next.